Now another group off the front as we go back to Fodderpool at the back. Bahrain victorious, increasingly involved. A fascinating situation. It it's coming back 30 seconds from 45 seconds. Up, uh, crash, 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 crash. crash the back. And on the right hand side, you've got a rider down there into a headwind. Oh, here we go. Unfortunately, we've riders down. Matt, it took two hours, 15 minutes for the breakaway to go today, and this is it. And look at that, just like that. Four minutes, 17. And Jumbo Visma alongside UAE and Bahrain. Old Quarter Hill, the Alde Cuadamo. And a big, big crash behind. Just as we're about to hit the Quadamont, and this could have a huge effect on the race. Oh, my word. Bogaccia down. Ana Philippe involved. Lots of riders down, I'm afraid. You've got the Eckenberg going on behind. You've got the hollow egg. And now it's the Wolfenberg time for here. And look at how steep this beast is. Onto the hollow egg with Lewis Askey. Connor Swift there. Two Brits and a crash on the left hand side. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 it's happening again. It is this gradual ratcheting him off the pace, and Pedersen goes in the centre. Mars Pedersen over the top of the Wolfenberg, and he's going to be followed by what looks like Junets. This is an interesting little split. Mads Pedersen continuing to drive this move clear. There's a group of about 12 trying to go across the gap. In the chase, it looks like you've already got Nata for Hoidonk. Yep. There's Evil Lompart. There's several of the riders chasing. Pogacar. Pogacar is in there as well, and that sets off the alarm bells. Pog is pogoing away. And then you have to start riding. Big acceleration here by Trentin. Kung on his wheel. Paola straight into the slipstream as well. The real party is about to start. Yeah. Because after this, we'll Ooh! go back towards... Grimai down. Again. Oh! Grimai, Grimai, Grimai. That was oh, awful. Oh, my word. Christoph down as well. Grimai, that is a nasty... That's class. a shocker. And now we get the reaction. Now we get the reaction. Watt van Aert, seated power, seated attack. We wondered how he was. He's looking good, Matt. He's advancing. He is looking good, but look at this. Talipo Gacha has just ripped this race apart, flying up this climb. Look at it. It's almost like he's riding on a motorbike. Look at the gap he's opened up at the riders behind. He glances round. He'll see daylight. We'll see the Bora Hansgrohe car. Root briefly into the slipstream of Axel Zongel and no doubt st go straight past. Just look at the might. The big three, the top riders in the world, wheel to wheel, pedal stroke to pedal stroke. And this is the image we've been waiting for for the last 365 days. And now Mathieu Fonapol. Mathieu Fonapol decides to go. And that is his kind of acceleration. Wart van Aert's in trouble, though. Wart van Aert is in trouble. Pogaccia can power away. One man who's fighting, though, for his future is Wart van Aert, who's about to hit the cobbles. <laughs> but as he does so, Tadej Pogaccia repeats the feat. He's going again. He's landed a left jab. Is this to be the right hook? What a devastating turn of speed by Tadej Pogaccia. That is absolutely incredible. At the front of the race, Mars pillerson has been caught. A valiant effort. He needs to hang on now at the second half of this Quadamon, but I'm not sure he'll be able to do so because flying past him is Tadej Pogacar. It's a long straight road to Aldenarda, and he starts to realise. He starts to allow himself a half of a wry smile. The realisation sets in. Aldenarda welcomes its latest hero. He's only gone and done it. Merzian magic from cycling's new all-round megastar. And at just the second time of asking, the two-time Tour de France winner becomes the King of Flanders. In Eddie Merz's backyard, Tadej Pogacar arrives to inherit his crown. Tadej Pogacar wins the fastest ever Tour of Flanders. The best rider in the world wins the best race in the world. And a man to contribute to the legend. He gave everything. He's never been worse off than fourth. The record will come, I think, for Mathieu Fodderpool. Just not today. There goes Mars Pedersen on the left-hand side, the former world champion, on his wheel and ready to come off it if there's anything left. Is what Van Aert, but strong. He's holding on. Van Aert is there, but he's only in the slipstream. Now he'll try to come around with 50 metres to the line. Mars Pedersen's there. Here comes what Van Aert, but it's Mars Pedersen. It's Mars Pedersen who hangs on. And we're denied the perfect podium riding through the field of dreams in Flanders.